Well, today we decided to take the Charlie Tarak that we um, had here to, to actually go and test it. I've been through the theory of how it works, um, and then we thought actually test it. Now, we're just about out of season. Um, in the fashion of the ground, it gets wet, it gets hard to see the dust, it'll get ripped up, it'll get seeded, all that sort of stuff. So uh, in the winter time, this sort of stuff, these sort of shots, we don't have the option on. So we thought we'd try this. Now this is, I was going to plan on to take a smaller calibre and stretch it out to show the benefits of this system. Um, but this is a very, very, you know, uh, an ultra extreme long range shot. Um, is what we actually set up with a, a, a thought that we could maybe try at some stage for this rifle. Um, and what it actually is, I'll show you what distance we're actually shooting at. You look in here. 38.58 yards. I'll let it settle. I only just turned it oh, on, so. Okay. 38.44 yards. So 3,844 yards or 3,515 metres. That's for a three throughout the pot. Now I'm not using an exotic bullet, I'm just using the 300 grain burger, one that we used at two miles, it worked very well. Uh, we had around 275 minutes of elevation at two miles. Um, here I haven't sat down and worked it out properly, I did a bit of figuring things out. I started at setting the Charlie Tarak at 320 minutes, um, expecting to be that or a bit more. But as I probably um, led before, or gone down the road before, is that the actual ballistics change from normal expected ballistic, ballistics once you start to really get out there. Now we're only another 300 yards further, but um, I still expected a fair bit of bullet drop. I didn't see as much, so I had to actually adjust things in the field to figure it all out. And, and I expect them at around the 300, 305, 310 minutes of total elevation. And so I backed it off, which you can do in the field, um, to actually set this into a different position um, and then dialed myself up um, actually and then moved around to actually find that spot. Fair bit of work, we went through probably 25 rounds finding it, trying to get a see a hit at all out of everything to actually find because we don't have ballistic data out there um, and then I had, I don't, did, lost count actually whether it was 20 or it was 25 shots at target but that was very consistent, that was work, working very nicely, really was working nicely. Left half target low. <laughs> Level with the left edge of plate, one and a half targets low. left corner just off edge of plate <laughs> tall and left level with the top edge of plate half target left Dust directly behind target. Oh, couldn't say say exactly, but dust directly behind.
Oh, bottom left, just off bo bottom left corner. Left, uh, level with the left edge of plate, uh, one target tall. Right, two o'clock, quarter of a target right. Oh, bottom left, so level with the left edge of plate, half target low. Oh, but, uh, right, just to the right, two o'clock, quarter target right. Just off top, one o'clock, just over top. Holy guacamole, Batman. And some other benefits that I can see that we actually gained out of the system was that once I started to go, started to get there, then the conditions were changing. So one of the ways to fight conditions changing is to keep your shot rate up. What that causes in turn is barrel mirage. So essentially you get mirage coming off your barrel. Um, and I found this really wasn't concerned by it because our viewpoint is obviously right up high versus down low. I really wasn't changed by it at all. So it actually shot really well. And as you'll see there, we um, got to the point of just about grazing that target, very, very close to doing it. Uh, probably something for next season, but still that was 3,800 yards with a three for out the poor. Um, and that was the Charlie Tarak that um, let that happen. So it went really nicely. Um, we'll have some footage of bits and pieces of down at target, that side of things, but um, that was pretty close. And that um, becomes a conceivable thing to do.